Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I've been praying and meditating lately, asking the Lord about a topic that I can share. Today, we're diving into an important topic, mental health and its relevance in the Christian community. My goal is to create a, this topic for the month of November. Sometimes as the holidays are coming, people are having a lot of anxieties or fear. As believers, we often face challenges like anxiety, which can feel overwhelming. But the good news is that the Bible offers profound guidance and comfort during these times. In this video, we'll explore how Scripture addresses anxiety and discover practical ways to find peace through faith. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Brother Pete. I'm a registered nurse and a worship pastor. My journey has been shaped by both professional experience in healthcare and my passion for leading others in worship. While I'm not a professional counselor, my work as a nurse has given me insight into the struggles many face, particularly regarding mental health. Combined with my faith and personal experiences, I am excited to share practical biblical insights on topics like anxiety and how we can find peace in our lives through God's Word. Let's explore this together. Let's define anxiety. Anxiety is a natural emotional response characterized by feelings of worry, fear, or apprehension about what's to come. It can manifest in various ways, including racing thoughts, restlessness, irritability, and even physical symptoms like racing heart or difficulty of breathing. It is important to remember that experiencing anxiety is a normal part of life. Especially in times of stress or uncertainty, many people, including those of the faith, face anxiety at different points in their journey. Acknowledging it is the first step towards understanding and finding ways to cope with it. Now let's explore some key scriptures, some biblical verses, passages that speak directly to anxiety and offer us hope and guidance. First, in Philippians 4, 6-7, we read, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse reminds us that prayer is a powerful tool in combating anxiety. When we bring our worries to God, we invite His peace into our hearts, which can help us navigate even the most challenging situations. Next is 1 Peter 5, 7. We are instructed to cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. Again, cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. This emphasizes the importance of trusting our worries to God. He invites us to release our burdens to Him, reassuring us that we are not alone in our struggles. Again, we are not alone in our struggles. Lastly, in Matthew 6, 34, Jesus encourages us, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This teaching reminds us to focus on the present and not to get overwhelmed by future uncertainties. Together, these verses provide us with both comfort and practical advice. They encourage us to learn into, lean into prayer, trust in God's care, and stay grounded in the present moment. Helping us manage anxieties with a faith-filled perspective. Now, let's talk about some simple ways 
to apply these biblical principles in our daily lives. Number one, set aside time for prayer and meditation. Again, set aside time for prayer and meditation. Make it a habit to dedicate time each day for prayer and meditating on scriptures. This quiet time can help center your thoughts, reduce anxiety, deepen your connection with God. Even just a few minutes each day can make a significant difference. Number two, practice gratitude and focus on the present. Practice gratitude and focus on the present. Start a gratitude journal where you write down things you're thankful for each day. Shifting your focus to the blessings in your life can help combat anxious thoughts and also try to be present in each moment, letting go of worries about the future. Number three, seek community support. Again, seek community support. Don't hesitate to reach out for support from your church or local groups. Sharing your struggles with others who understand can provide comfort and encouragement. Building a strong support network can help you feel less isolated in your journey. By incorporating these practices, you can better manage anxiety while grounding yourself in faith and community. As we wrap up, remember that turning to scriptures is vital during time of anxiety. The Bible offers us not discomfort, but practical guidance to help navigate our worries. If you're feeling overwhelmed, do not hesitate to seek help from trusted friends, family, or church leaders. You are not alone in this journey. You are not alone in this journey. Embrace the support available to you. And let's continue to encourage one another in faith. Hey, thanks for joining me today. And I hope these insights will help you find peace in the midst of anxiety. Let's all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your promise of peace that surpasses all understanding. I come to you today bringing my worries and anxieties. Help me to cast my cares on you.